Hey Capricorn, this is Jamie, Little Red Tarot. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. If you're subscribed to Little Red Tarot family, thank you so very much. Please like and share and comment. Just let me know what's going on. If it resonates, just say, hey, what's up, boo? Okay. If you're not subscribed to Little Red Tarot family, hopefully by the end of this video, you will have chosen to do so. And you'll hit the little notification bell on the bottom there. So you can get all the updated information and like, share, and comment. Now, this is going to be a general reading. It could hit on anything. Love, work, relationships, family, all that. But, I'm going to do a three-in-one reading for each individual sign for June. It's going to be love singles, career, love couples. And there's going to be time stamps in, on the comments in each video where you want to go. So, whatever resonates, whatever you want to listen to. So, you can just click on it and get to it. Okay? So, keep an eye out for that. Everything you need to know is down in the description box below. The cards that I use, a free link to a free astro chart. We got your moon, your rising, your housing, your feminine, your uh, masculine, all that. I do private readings. One question for 15, two questions for 20. My email is down there. The link to donate, which is greatly appreciated and accepted, is also down there. This is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Resonate great. If not, let us get. It's your message. Use your intuition. Put it where it fits. Do not force it to fit. Tarot to help, not hinder. If you don't like the outcome, change it. You're the captain of your own ship. You have your own free will. This is entertainment purposes only. If you don't like my advice or what it's saying, fix it. Okay? Timeless reading. Whenever you come across it is when you are meant to hear it. And it could be vice versa. I pull a major arcana card. Let's say I pull a star card. That's time for Aquarius. Could be in a chart we you're dealing with. Could mean you have aspects of the Aquarius. Means you have too many aspects. Take some on, lose some, whatever. We'll see how it fits in there. Energy might, uh, energies might resonate vice versa. I might be reading up, picking up on whoever you're dealing with. If I already said that, I'm saying it again. And anything else? I think that's it. I like to start off with a little prayer. So whoever your higher power is, let's go ahead and take a moment, please. Lord in heaven, I come to you in the name of Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit. I want to thank you for this day and thank you for our blessings. I want to thank you for this gift that you give me. I want to thank you for speaking to me and through me. I want to thank my spirits, my personal spirits, and the spirits of those who are listening and whatever messages it needs to get across. I also want to take a moment of silence for this crazy world. And I want to pray for peace and protection. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. What messages do we have, please, from my Capricorns? Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you and a couple other readings that hallelujah Catholic chanting <laughs> going through my head. Okay, I almost said Aries, but that was the last reading I did. So, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. What messages do we have, please? One more time. One more, one more time. We're gonna celebrate. Okay. <laughs> Wonder who that was for. Alright, Capricorn. My Capricorn friends. We have the Knight of Pentacles. When I see the Knight of Pentacles, he is standing there. He's got a shield down. He's got a spear in the ground, so he's done fighting. This is like after the battle. The battle is finally done. I mean, there's, you know, skulls and it's desolate. I mean, you know, this is a battle zone. Now he's standing there looking back at everything going, Oh my God, I really just came from that? You're like thinking about everything it entailed to be standing where you are standing, still breathing. And this doesn't have to be a literal battle, but, you know, it could be like an emotional or, you know, the journey that life, it's just been, whatever you've been going through has been just really hard on you, Capricorn. 
Now you're standing on the other side of it. Things are desolate and there's, you know, no grass and just nothing. But you survived. And you're like looking back going, holy hell. Okay, so. Three cards, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. We got four cards. It was this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So, we have the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is the ultimate cup. I mean, look how big this thing is. You've got the Dove of Peace. You've got the, you know, the island view, the ocean view, your house up on a hill. You know, there you are coming home after a long day of fishing, you know. I mean, this is the cup, you know, the holy grail, quote unquote, of Ace of Cups, okay. This is the ultimate happiness and all that. Finally got my finance, finally got my house, got my relationships right, got myself right, whatever, right? This is the Ace of Cups. And then you have the Justice card, which is the card of Libra. Justice is, Justice is blind. She holds the scale. It's all about right and wrong. It's all about things coming full circle is what I hear. Things will right themselves. Justice will be done one way or the other. You will get what's due. Justice, you know, whatever justice is due. You're, you're um, in your own due time. In due time, you'll get what, what, you, what is deserved. But you, see look, little baby bird here hatching out of the egg. Okay. You are trying to grow to the Ace of Cups. You're going from here to here. So right now, you are in this baby stage, this growing stage. This you've, you've, already, you've already overcome this. You're standing on the other side of what this battle was to you. So now it's time for rebirth and new growth. So the, the Four of Cups to me in this particular card, there's a circle showing me that you are protected. The universe protects you. Your angels, your spirit guides, your animal guides, whatever that is, it has encircled you. Your ancestors, they have encircled you and are protecting you. All this is going on around you while you are growing and rebirthing. So that you will get your due, you know, in due time, get what's due to you so that you can get the Ace of Cups. You are on your way, but you had to go through this battle. You had to. But you still have your guard up. This is the King of Wands. And he's standing there. He's not really charging. There's nothing really going on around him. He's still, he's rebuilding, as you can see, the castle behind him. He's got the key down here. He holds the key to his own future. But because you're still on guard, you're not ready to pick up this key and go through the door, is what I hear. You are still licking your wounds. You're, you're still, you've got this wall up still. From whatever this was here, you're still on guard. You're not picking up the key to walk to the door so you can start this rebirth. But if you don't start this rebirth, you're not going to be able to get what's due to you. So you can get this Ace of Cups. You're going to have to do some breathing exercises, some meditation. Start really working through this journal, art. I, I don't know what you have to do, but you've got to start releasing this edginess and make a decision that it's time to let this go, walk away from this, and start something new. Because the justice of scale, the you know scales of justice are waiting to balance out, but they can't balance out until you take this key and walk through the door. And start this rebirth. It's usually I read this way, but it's funny. It's like this, and it kind of goes this way. So, you know, this is all about changing your way of thinking, the way of speaking, figuring out how to heal yourself and, and let go of the anger and the guilt and forgiving other people, even though they haven't asked for your forgiveness. It's, it's time to let your guard down, pick up this key, and take that step forward. Walk to the door and start this new process of rebirth so that the scales of justice can balance out and you get what's coming to you, which is this Ace of Cups.
Okay, let's see. So the next two messages of clarification, please, for Capricorn, Sun, and Rising, June 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Susan, Jimmy, and Jimmy. Extra messages and clarifications, please. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, June 2020. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Comment, comment, comment. Comment. It makes your teeth turn green. No, go ahead. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. Extra messages and clarifications, please. One more shuffle. We have the main male. And as you can see, the main male is holding out his hand like he's about to help, you know, the, a lady up onto the platform to get onto the chariot. And if I have pulled the chariot, the chariot's beside the cancer, but it's also about forward movement, especially in this deck. It's about quick forward movement. So there is somebody that is holding out their hand to you going, come on aboard, it's time. And this could be why you still have your guard up, because this past relationship just tore you the hell up. So you're like, I don't know. You know, it's like that in that scene of Aladdin, you know, he's like, do you trust me? And you're like, no, you're not like Jasmine. You're not like, yes. You're like, uh, why? Why do I trust you? Why should I trust you? Uh, right? And that's where you're at. Well, you need, you, like I said, you hold that key. You make that decision. But I'm telling you, you need to make this step forward. So that you can start the healing process. And if it's not a relationship, it's, you know, your spirit guide, your animal guide, your uh, a boss, a friend, a, a whatever. And like I said, don't get caught up on masculine and feminine. We all have masculine and feminine. So this may not be a male. This may be a female. But there's somebody that's like holding out their hand going, come on, let's do this thing. But you're like, mm-mm, mm-mm. My last job, my last boyfriend, or... I am not ready, my fill in the blank. But it's time for you to pick up that key and let this person lift you up, help you through the door so that you can start this process, whoever that is to you. Three cards, please. Okay. Your last relationship was like a prison to you. It was horrible. And it could have been, like I said, a boss, a marriage. This is a partnership. Okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic marriage. Okay? But whether this was a job or a partnership, it was a prison to you. It repressed you, oppressed you. I mean, it pushed you down. It kept you down. I mean, look. She's like kind of holding her hand underneath her chest there. I mean, she doesn't look too happy. Okay? This was this was an impression. And look. I never noticed this before. But look. There's smoke coming from this, this prison. Looks like there's, you know, like they rose up. You rose up. You said enough. Enough. It was a long, hard road. Remember what I said here? You're like looking back going, oh my God, wow, holy hell. That was crazy. Whatever this partnership was, was a long, hard road for you. I understand why you have your guard up. And it's easier said than done. I get it. I get it. I understand. This was hard for you. But it's time to go ahead and make that leap. Pick up that key. It, go ahead. Someone's either has offered you. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a new partnership. Like I said, maybe it's just, you know, like in a spiritual sense. It's time to step through this door. Step on this platform. Let's, let's go. You, you've got to. I'm going to go ahead and get another one for this right here. One more, please, for the king of wands. So okay. Oh, no. No, 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 no. See, occupation. This is about someone's job. All right. False person. 
Yeah, this was a this wasn't the right this wasn't the right one. We know this. We know this. We understand that's why you have your guard up. Because man, I didn't my intuition was wrong. I how did I choose this relationship? I mean, you are beating yourself up hardcore. And that's keeping your guard down. You've got to learn to forgive yourself. Let go of the mis yeah. That you can think, oh my god, all these horrible things, blah, blah, blah. But you keep coming back to, if I hadn't done, mm, if I had listened to, mm, whatever. It keeps coming back down to you keep blaming yourself. Nothing is a mistake if you learn something from it. You've got to put your guard down and you've got to heal, heal, heal. You've got to. And if that might require some professional counseling, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't shame someone for going to the doctor and... You're getting a physical, so what's the difference with mental health? It's still health, right? So don't think of it as a stigma. There's nothing wrong with that. You made the first step. You made it out. You broke away from this partnership. You you did it. But now you need to take the next step to move on. You, you're stagnant. Like I said, you're still licking your wounds and you got to knock that off. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What advice do we have? June 2020 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for being here. Thank you for speaking to me and through me. What advice do we have for my Capricorn friends? Sun, Moon, and Rising, June 2020. Okay, one more shuffle. I don't like that one. Ah, oh, I remember in the beginning, I was like, we're going to celebrate one more time that's what the universe is saying it's saying come on it's okay this this time it's going to be different this is the right one it's time to celebrate Let, let's go ahead and take this next step forward that's what i heard whoever that's for okay advice you are here for a reason if you hadn't gone through this long hard road maybe you wouldn't meet this new person whether it's a, like i said relationship or job Okay, everything happens for a reason. Sometimes we take the long road around, but the road always leads us to where we're going. It's the same path. Some One's just easier than the other, but that's okay. It's okay. We took the long road. We learned a few extra things. It's not a mistake. We learned something from it. Now we're older and wiser. And now look the opportunity that you've got to take it. Don't seize the moment. You don't let this opportunity pass you up. Advice, please. I'm going to take that one. Capricorn, whoa. Love is your energy. I'm not keeping that one either, but be yourself. Okay, well, love is your energy. Accept struggles as lessons, right? I don't take reversals. And ask, I do not take reversals. I don't know why that was all garbled. Ask for guidance. Okay, I'm not going to keep these because I just came out one, but that's specific. Be yourself. Love is your energy. Accept struggles as lessons. Ask for guidance. You have to love yourself. You have to forgive yourself. You have to accept everything that happens for a reason. Okay? Absolutely. You need to start by loving yourself. And being yourself. Don't be afraid to be yourself. You're here for a reason. Accept struggles with lessons. See, trust your intuition. You're like, man, I thought I was on point with my last intuition, but look where it brought me. So now you're having a hard time even trusting yourself. You've got to stop that. You've got to figure out how to trust yourself. And I know it's easier than done because I've been there. I've done that. I've struggled with trying to figure out my intuition. Figure out how did I get here. I'm gonna, it'd take you, you know, two days to hear my story to understand the struggles. The emotional struggles I've been through. I get it. It is hard. But you've got to figure out however that is for you. Whether it's going and sitting in the middle of the woods... And chanting or doing rituals or you know, going in the ocean, putting your feet in the sand, getting, you know, professional help, rake, reiki, reiki, whatever, an intuition or a cleansing. I don't care what you have to do, but you need to figure it out and learn to be yourself. It's okay to be who you are because you were made the way that you are and you've been through what you've been through and you are who you are because of what you've been through and you're here for a reason. Just be yourself and trust your intuition. Whoa, no. Advice, please. Capricorn, summon and rising. Oops, thank you. Oh, Lord. Fell on the floor. And know your truth. You know your truth. You, truth. you know your truth. 
You know your truth. You know your intuition. You know what your intuition is telling you. You know that when you ask for guidance, that that little gut that you, that little feeling you feel in your gut is your intuition, that it's the truth. Even if you can't put your finger on it, I promise you, this would not have been such a long, hard road if you had allowed yourself to trust your intuition. You kept putting it off as, eh, maybe I, I'm a, I have been in the past guilty of this myself. Because I was so beat up and still was so on guard, you know, still have my guards up because of a past relationship, that I ignored the red flags going, no, this is just my, you know, trigger, you know, it's not really his fault, I can't really, blame. no, those red flags are your intuition, stop collecting red flags, know your truth, you know the truth, we always do. Our first intuition is always the correct. Our first impression, our first meeting is always the right one. I mean, I don't care if later you get to know me like, I don't know why I felt that way. There was a reason. There's a, how do you think those women marry serial killers? Because they ignored their intuition when they first met the guy. I'm just saying. All right, whoa. You are never alone. Remember how I was telling you? Right here, look, you are never alone. You know, saying ask for guidance, know your truth, know your intuition, trust your intuition. You are not alone. Your guides are with you. The universe is with you. This is your spirit animals, your ancestors, whatever this is to you. You are never alone. I feel like someone's saying that to you. They've said it to you a lot. They'll, they used to tell you all the time, you're never alone. You're never alone. God's always with you. You're never alone. Somebody, that's just a reminder. Remind yourself, you're never alone. And if you feel alone, 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 call a friend. Call a hotline. I get it. I have like three friends. <laughs> but guess what? They're my closest friends. They're, they are the ones that matter. And if you don't have any right now, start joining groups. Go find one. You will. Maybe that's who this person is. Maybe you've had problems with friends. Because I trust me, there's a reason I only have three friends, right? Okay? Stabbed you in the back, talk to your friends. I mean, years. I mean, I'm talking years. And suddenly you're like, what the hell just happened? Okay? So maybe this is a new friendship. Maybe you started some sort of new class or something. And you've met somebody. You start some volunteer work or something. When you meet them, come on now. You know, give it a, let your guard down. But don't collect red flags. It's okay to knock them down. And for some reason, I went to go reach for these cards. So I guess they have one more thing they want to say to you. What, what's the message? Yeah, you, someone's been stealing from you. You need to put an end to it. It's traditional deck, this is the death card. That would be the sign of Scorpio. So they're saying someone's been stealing from you. And you need, need to put an end to it. You need to stop it. Cut it off. It needs to be, uh, you know who this is. Whoever that's for knows who this is that's been stealing from you. And you need to cut it off. Any more messages? Oh, look, there's one in my lap I didn't even know about. Look, expectations. You expected this. This was no shock to you. This person has steal, stolen from you before. You, I don't know why you gave him another chance. That could be why part of you would be beating yourself up for. You're like, why would I? Why would I give this person another chance? Doesn't surprise me. Who could have seen that coming? You already knew this person was gonna steal from you because that's what they do: steal your joy, steal your money, whatever. Okay. Military, very methodical. Very by the books, very straight and narrow by the line. Grief and sorrow. His thoughts. Okay. So this is his thoughts. Whoever he is. I don't know. I need another card for that right here. Okay. There's that chain, that chariot that is. Cancer, a couple of water signs going on here. Okay, I hear it. I get it. Okay, like I said, remember you said 
Who could have seen that coming? You were expecting this. Like I said, this is, would be the death card, which is Scorpio. They've been stealing from you. They steal, like I said, they're energy vampires, or they literally steal from you. They steal your money from you, whatever. And you're like, Psh, I don't know why, right? Big surprise. And and your thoughts are, are very, here's the military, grief and sorrow. This is, and then change. This is, what is insanity? The definition of sanity is doing the same thing, the same thing, right? That's what the military does over and over again. Doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. When you do that, you just bring on grief and sorrow because it's like, oh, I already knew that was going to happen. I'm causing my own grief and sorrow. Well, it's time to make a change. Okay? Yeah, these are your thoughts. Yeah, we know. I, who could have seen this coming? Oh, well, you need to let that go and make a change. Cut this person out, whoever the Scorpio person is. Water sign, Cancer may not, be, you know, take over, not necessarily a water sign, but we got Scorpio and Cancer going on here. And who else did we have? We had a Justice Libra is in there somewhere too. I mean, like I said, it could be any sign, but yeah, you need to make a change. It's time for you to change this. Who could have seen this coming? You just keep doing it over and over again. Maybe you keep getting back in this relationship or giving someone a second chance, third chance, fourth chance, fifth chance. And it keeps happening over and over again. And it's time to cut them out of your life. It's time for a change. And when you make that change, because this is a fast-moving chariot, okay? It's moving quick. It's out of here. You need to make that change. Not sh that was a little extra message for you there. All right, Capricorn. Please like, subscribe, and share. And look for your three-in-one reading. Mwah. Later.